Well, forget every diet you've ever considered because this one is the best one ever. Nothing else but beer and sausage for a month at a time. Beer and sausage. Mm. One man says it helped him drop two sizes so far. His doctor's all about it. He'll be here live with us. The Oktoberfest diet. Mmm, beer. Well, now the diet even Homer Simpson would love. Beer and sausage. That's it, basically. A man in Arizona says it works very well for him. For the past three years, he says he celebrated Oktoberfest by consuming nothing but beer and sausage for an entire month. Says he lost 14 pounds in the first year, and his cholesterol dropped 30%. There is a catch, as you might imagine. Since he drinks as many as six beers a day, he cannot drive. So he gets his son to give him a cart around. Evo Terra joins us now, live from Phoenix. You got your drink on now? No, I had a drink on about uh, 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, it's been a couple of hours, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty ke even keeled right now. All right, and the beer and sausage and nothing else for a month, and your doctor is good with this. Yeah, yeah, this is beer and sausages are my, all my calories uh, that I take for the month come from those two things and medically supervised, and uh, guess what? It works. Well, my doctor says a high fat, high alcohol, high carbohydrate diet is not the right thing to do. Where do I find your doctor and could, could I adopt him? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you certainly could. Um, so, so my doctor, Terry Simpson, also happens to be a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And um, what, we, what we did here uh, on this one, he's a weight loss physician, but our, but our goal was to really get some data points and test what happens. Let's take two foods that are arguably terrible for you, as your doctors told you, beer and sausage. But if we do those in moderation, if we really reduce the calories that I take every day, would I, how will I come out if we, if we checked that every day, recorded everything, and we did blood tests before, during, and after, and I went to the doctor every week, what would actually happen? And as you said, the results are uh, pretty, pretty positive in my favor. It, it, it's weird because my doctor says you need whole grains, and you need fruits, and you need vegetables, you yeah. need a mixed right. bag of all of this stuff, you need to get plenty of sleep, you need to keep your alcohol content down. Uh, that's the prevailing wisdom. And that's what's supposed to keep us alive. And this is supposed to kill you, sir. <laughs> it's supposed to, but the difference between the, conv the conventional wisdom and what I'm doing right now is I actually keep the alcohol pretty low. And all those things you mentioned about, you know, having fresh fruits and fresh bread, well, beer is liquid bread. And I take a multivitamin, so I'm getting plenty of nutrients. I'm just changing the amount of calories that go into my body, so forcing my body to do something with those calories and not pack them away as fat. And, uh, and it works. Now, this wouldn't work if you just ate your regular diet and then layered in six beers a day, which is what I have. You're going to get fat. But when that's your primary food source, guess what? You lose weight. And it's not like you're eating 30 sausages a day. No, I eat about two sausages a day is, my, is the max I can have. So it's, I restrict my calories to about 1,500 a day. Now, oh, well, at my size, I'm, I'm, I'm a full-size guy, and I, I weigh about 2,100, 2100 calories is what come, uh, my body will burn on a daily basis. So if I only put 15 in, so that 600 has got to do something. And yeah. uh, what it does is sheds away the fat. It's kind of nice. So my guess is you're a little bit hungry and a little bit buzzed all day. That's my catchphrase right there. Low-grade hunger, low-grade buzz. Yeah, what are you going to do? It's only 30 days. What, what kind of beer and what kind of sausages are you quaffing over there? So I take a very liberal approach to the word sausage, so I don't get bored on that thing. So that's breakfast sausage, that's kielbasa, that's smoked Polish sausages, that's hot dogs, whatever. Any kind of sausage works. And I'm a fan of craft beer, so I'll drink fruity beers in the morning. I'll drink a nice brown ale over lunch. And then at nighttime, that's when I get the more of the imperial stout, some of the double IPAs mm. uh, that have a little bit more flavor and, and character to them. But variety, that's the trick. Empty stomach beer is, is a trick as well. <laughs> How's the bathroom experience? I have to ask. Yeah, I, I understand. Everybody oh, wants to know. Oh, I hear everybody I, groaning. I it. It's a fair question. Nah, it's a totally fair question. Uh, the good news is uh, everything is reduced, if you know what I mean. I do. Look, I, I, everybody in the booth over there and all of you people groan. Did you not want to know? I yeah, of course John Glenn says he didn't want to know. I think that if we could do all of October with beer and sausages only for all of you, the news deck would be a much happier place. And when breaking news happens, ah, breaking news happens.